Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just got a full step-by-step -step guide tonight, showing you how to uh, rebuild and ignition this new uh, ignition lock barrel for Ford Transit Custom. And I'll just put some links in the description below to uh, the part number for one of these and where you can get them from as well. Uh, but it, uh, it's to suit this style key. Uh, it comes with the um, all the bits and some spring clips in there, the barrel itself. This is the main piece where uh, we're going to put put in the new uh, locking chimneys in the new shims in there just to suit the key we've got all the new shims for the for the um to match the key there and then we've got some springs as well so just want to be really careful it's dead easy to lose them so it's worth just taking a bit of time just to set out a bit of a clean area and i've just put this paper on the tray just so it uh, sort of houses everything in it as well now the first step we're going to do all these um little pins have got uh, they've all got numbers on them one to five and eleven to fifteen and just to start with, to get it easy, to get it um, all organised, you just want to lay these out in order, and then we can start working it out to how we how we're going to match the key. So I'll just organise them quick, and then we'll uh, show you the next step. So I've just got all the shims laid out now. I'm just trying to show you, just zooming in on it a bit better. Uh, you can just see the numbers there. Just so I'll be looking to the top, just try and focus on it. But you've got the one on the tab there. So we've got one there, two, three, four, five. And then on this side, we've got 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And now we can start putting them into the, uh, to the barrel. Basically numbers one to five will go on one side so where you've got your little spring locates in the circle hole there so if we've got a number one of the shims between one and five on this one here it will be one of the opposites on this side here so this could be any number from between one and five there and this one here on the going the opposite way will be any one between 11 and uh, 15 or it could be the other way around but to start with all we're going to do is just put a little spring in the the first hole there then we'll put the key in and try to get it right to show you where we need to be. So if we get one of the springs, just gently pop that in there. And then just to start with, I'm just going to try number one. And just pop it in so that the little tab there presses against the spring. Once you've got that there, just try your key. And the key does go in, so it definitely is um, 1 to 5 this direction. If the key doesn't go in, it would have been 11 to 15. But with the key in, you can see that the tab's not fully pulled down, so that means it's the wrong the wrong tab. It, should, uh, it wants to come flush when it's the right one. So we'll just pull the key back out, and we'll just change that for number 2. Up to number two in there, but still not a little bit further in, but you can just see it's not quite flush. I've just gone for number three. You can see with the number three in there. That's completely flush now across there, which is, uh, that's what we want. So now that one's in, we can leave that in there. Just take the key out. You've just got to be careful now as you're doing this. You need to remember they're quite loose, so each time you uh, take them out, you've just got to just be a bit careful to not make them fall out. But So we know we're on a number, this is obviously number three, but now we're going the opposite way. So we're going to put a little spring in the circle over there, but this one here will be any number between 11 and 15. So now we're going to get that one right.
And we'll start at the uh, we'll start at the number eleven, just to keep it simple. Yeah, see straight away, that one's just pulled that there, nice and flush. So all I need to do now is just going to keep working through all the pins on this side to get it right. And once once we've filled them holes, we'll swap over to the other side and do the same again until we've um, until we've completed all of them. And then we can get on to uh, building the rest of the cylinder up. So we'll just speed through that. When you're doing it, you just need to make sure. I just put five in there. It looked pretty flush there, but it actually just pulled it through and slightly out the back too far. So you just need to make sure it's flush across the whole front and rear or top and bottom so well, that's one side uh, one side in now just going to swap around to the other side so as I do it on the other side every time I take the key out I'm just going to keep keep one finger on the back to keep all the pins in and again they'll just be opposites one to five on this side 11 to 15 on that side and vice versa Once we've got all the pins in, we're then going to put some of the grease on afterwards. Now, so that's now every single uh, hole filled there. And you can just see with the key in, it's all nice and flush, the top and the bottom. So we know that's uh, we know that's absolutely bang on now. If you've got any that isn't properly seated down, the lock won't turn. So it needs to be 100% flush when the key is in. Now that we've done that, all I'm going to do is just work the key out. I'm just going to put a little bit of the, the grease on there and just try and work it into a few of them and I'll just work the key in and out a few times just to get some grease around uh, some of it and I'll probably just drop a little bit in the in the end of the barrel before putting the key in as well. So now that we've greased that up, we've got a ready working uh, lock barrel centre. Just to run you through just roughly what we've got to start with before we show you uh, building the next bit up. But we've got the outer part of the uh, barrel here, a little clip there, which that little pin clip just lines up into that's to sit in that section of the this inner piece of the barrel there. And what that does, it's like a little push clip that locks it into place. The little button pops through the casing through that little hole there and then when you want to take it apart again you can just push the button in to get it out so that locates in there this little tab here is to locate through this little hole in the uh, outer edge of that barrel there and that locates and drops into there and then that actually lines up on the barrel here with that little locking hole there now we've got a little there uh, the key, the key sort of entry bit, which needs to go on the uh, on the barrel before we put it in. Then we've got a little spring clip, which locates through along this little channel there, and actually goes through that little hole in this little locking tab. That actually springs that outwards. Um, so what we're going to do to start with, and we'll just run you through it. We're just going to pop this into this section first, and then pop the uh, just locate that on the top. I'll just try to show you it as we're doing it. Right, so the first step I'm going to do is just keep the key fully depressed into the barrel. Now we're going to press the um, push insert this into the barrel through the back here. Now it only goes in. It does only go in one way. The tabs line up, and what we're looking to do when we get it in, we're going to be looking to line that up with this little hole there. So we just put that in. And if it's fully in, it's too far. You want it slightly back. 
And once you've got that roughly in place there, you can. You don't need to be, uh, I'll hold it absolutely bang on, but if you just adjust it a little bit, just pull it back and just keep it to the side so you can get the key out. You just sort of need to turn it to the left a little bit to get the key out. So just pop the key out now. And just see with the key out, you can just see that lo little locating hole still there. And at this stage now, you sort of need to try and keep it fairly still while you do it. This is a uh, little clip, little uh, spring there for the uh, just for the key cover. And then need to turn it over and just sit that uh, plastic tab in there. It's just sort of a bit delicate to hold everything together while you do it. Now you've got your sort of key entry cover there. That just gently sits on the top there. Just like that. Now we're going to get the actual outer piece of the barrel. And you want to get your bit with a circle hole in it. That's going to line up and go over your plastic tab there. So you just nicely run that over. Until that just pops into place. Again, keeping it really still, turn it over. And I've still got that roughly in line there. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your uh, little block in there. Don't worry for now that um, Obviously, the the little groove is to like is to the right of this, whereas this only goes in one way, and that uh, little tab is to the left. But don't worry about that for now. Just sit that to uh, sit that in. We'll see. It won't go fully home. If you look down the channel, you sort of see there. You can just get this pin through. And the next thing you need to do is just get your little spring clip and that slides in and up through the bottom there. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of a... Guide that through, and you might just need a so a little pick, or I'm just using a little knife blade there, just to pop that spring in, and you'll just do it when it clips in, it just locates and just pops in there. And if you need to get that out in the future, you just simply pop it down there and push it out. And what that's doing now is sort of spring loading this piece there. Now that's on, you should be able to just pop the key in. That's all done. When it's uh, and then when we uh, just to close that up there, what it when the uh, the next step now is when you put it in the car, the uh, the spring bits on the back, and that every time that uh, it just pushes it back up, it shuts the little uh, key stopper there, and when you push it in, it just pushes it back down. And see that pops in. Once you're at this stage, so it's worth just working a little bit of grease into some of the little gaps there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, not too bad a job really. When you uh, when you first get the kit, it looks a bit daunting with all them little tabs and everything in it. But really, once you know how to do it, it's not too bad a job at all. So, um, but yeah, check out the channel. Got a few more videos on there as well, and uh, hopefully, I'll just try and get a video um, popping it into, just showing you how to release it on the custom and fit in the new one as well. But as far as I'm aware, can't quite remember without seeing it in front of me, but. I think there's two pin tabs in the actual um cowl in the uh, in the actual ignition lock you need to put it into one stage to get one of them out turn it to another stage and then you can get the other pin out i think once you've done that you should be able to just pop the barrel out and pop this new one in so 
Uh, yeah, but I hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Uh, just a quick update for you all. This is a couple of days after I actually built the barrel up. Um, but just uh, now that I've uh, stripped one down, just showing you how it actually fits. Basically, it is to do with this little spring tab there. And what you need to do is put the key into uh, position two in the centre there. And when it's in position two, just try to show you. Uh, that actual tab will press inwards and when it's pressing inwards uh, obviously you can just pop the uh, pop the barrel in pop the old one out and just push the new one in once it's clipped home that's solidly locked in place and um, well yeah if you strip the cowling down then you'll be able to see this little tab so just thought i'd share that quick and add it onto the video